Hi guys, I'm showing you how to configure a question table with multiple answers. So you also have the question type, just a question table. And here students can think of one possible answer. And with this question, the question table with multiple answers, students can choose different right answers for your question. So let's get started. First, you fill out your question. Where can you find the listed animals? Indicate the correct continents. I'm going to list several animals and in the columns I'm going to add the continents. So in this case, one animal could live in several continents, so students can think of both continents. So let's indicate the columns. These are my continents. So we have Europe, Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Australia and Antarctica. Now we're going to list the animals in the rows. To make this question automatically graded, we have to indicate the right answers. And this is how we do it. So we're going to add two hashtags and then indicate in what continents uh, these animals live. So this could be one continent or this could be more continents. We just indicate the names here that we added to our columns separated by hashtags. So the wolf lives in Europe, but also in Asia and North America. And we do this for every single animal here. Don't forget to take a look at the scoring options here. And you can choose to score a point for each correct row or to add points for each correct answer and deduct points for each wrong answer. Of course, there is a minimum score as well. Then we go to preview to see how this looks like for our students. So we now have this question table with multiple possible answers. So students can just think of the right answers here. So a wolf lives in Europe, Asia, and North America, an elephant lives in Africa and Asia as well. And let's make some mistakes with a crocodile. So let's say it's, um, I think South America, Australia, let's say they also live in Antarctica, um, like this. And then of course, we click on show the score so we can take a look at what is right or wrong. So you can see how it's automatically graded. So these are all right, but here we should have, have indicated these three as well. And this is a wrong answer. That's it. See you in the next video.